President Bartlett, Katie. this is a summit among leaders of American pharmaceutical companies and the AIDS-ravaged African no, nations President that President Nimbala is representing here. Is there a political upside to only having President Nimbala at this photo op and not the pharmaceutical companies? Yes, Katie, I'm trying to shore up the sub-Saharan vote. Uh, Mr. President, are you considering asking Congress to forgive existing debt? It's an international health crisis. There's nothing I'm not considering. Arthur? President Nimbala, what's the best you could hope to come away with from this summit? What's a home run? America. Humpieno. No relative bat. Bazam Honequa. Humpieno Honeleva to Vapanzin. There are people who make miracles in the world. One of them lives right here in the US. He realized that vital elements could be harvested from the stock of the wheat. In his hands, India, which at the time had been ravaged by drought and overpopulation, in his hands, the wheat crop increased from 11 million tons to 60 million tons annually. That's right. His name is Norman Borlaug, by the way, and he won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1970. Thank you, Mr. President. President Nimbala, thank you, everyone. Thank you, sir. I think you're absolutely right about the kind of miracle we need. I think we're going to make a lot of progress in the next couple of days. I hope so, Mr. President. My country's dying.